On behalf of the members of the Tesla Science Foundation, we would like to welcome you to our introductory video. The mission of the Tesla Science Foundation is to promote greater public awareness of Nikola Tesla and his contributions to humanity, and to work towards bringing to fruition Tesla's most visionary, but still unrealized innovations. In the following video, we'll be providing some basic information about Nikola Tesla, the activities of the Tesla Science Foundation, and why we think you should get involved with this great group of dedicated individuals who are working toward a brighter human future. Nikola Tesla was arguably the greatest inventor of modern times. He brought us alternating current. This is the underlying technology that essentially makes possible our modern methods for generating and distributing electrical energy. One could say that Tesla single-handedly through this discovery brought us the 20th century. He also uh, won famous war of currents with Edison before uh, Tesla patented his induction motor uh, DC or direct current was used around the world and uh, he made people believe that AC current will be much more efficient and, and much more cheap to use. All of the modern technological innovations that we take for granted in our lives would not even be possible had not Tesla worked to bring alternating current to the modern era. He is responsible for enlightening the 20th century. Nikola Tesla has invented so many things and he has brought enlightenment to the um, 20th century. Because of uh, Tesla's work, uh, we're able to have cell phones, we're able to have satellite transmissions, we have AC current, which is the, the main current that is used in electricity. The most important award he um, received was given him again in Philadelphia by the International Commission for Electrical Engineering in 1960. Uh, that was decision to give name Tesla to the unit of magnetic induction. And so nowadays all scientists have heard of Tesla even if they didn't know what he actually did. Uh, this gave him um, equal rank to scientists like Volt, Ampere, Faraday, or, and Kelvin. Tesla can be an inspiration to anyone uh, because he was kind of a prodigy of human imagination. This man's imagination was limitless. He hardly slept. He thought of new inventions in his head. He never had to write them down. He did not use blueprints. The guy was imagining um, getting energy from the upper atmosphere and energizing the entire globe. He wanted to give free energy to the entire world. His imagination was huge. Part of that was that he just had this very intuitive connection to the electromagnetic spectrum like nobody else. And this gave him insights that allowed him to foresee the possibilities of wireless energy, the whole world being connected wirelessly, which when he was alive, it seemed like the world wasn't really ready for that. But now, over 60 years after his death, in the 21st century, it looks like maybe we're finally starting to catch up to Tesla's vision.
Tesla Science Foundation is 501c3 uh, registered with the US government, uh, so non-profit organization, and we are located in two different areas. Uh, one is Philadelphia, US, and Belgrade, actually Zemun, Serbia. Tesla Science Foundation uh, is actually our main uh, organization. All other organizations are under umbrella of Tesla Science Foundation. In our uh, data system, we have uh, a little over 7,000 different Tesla people uh, what in one way or other uh, uh, start cooperation with our group. Now, a big percentage of these people are good scientists and expecting us to work on their project or help them to work on this project. So this is not easy. This is, uh, we are a small organization, we do not have funds for that and uh, we're really working and trying to figure out our way, how we're going to get uh, the space, uh, not just only in Philadelphia, in other places, but willing to work with us uh, and also funds to accomplish some of the most interesting projects that people have all over the world. So the many people when they come in our group, uh, they say they're not inventors, but they love to learn more about Tesla life. And uh, in the same time, we have Mihail, Mark, and Fred, and a few other guys where they come and uh, they start really Tesla, in a Tesla club. We really start growing way bigger than I ever expect. They have more young Americans come and get involved, and they, we organize different concerts, different lectures. At least once per month we met in a Philadelphia library or different places uh, where we was promoting Tesla legacy and uh, life of, of the Tesla. This worked until today day, and uh, I think that's our main, uh, most uh, our members are members of the Tesla club. Tesla Club Group uh, organized a big event in July 9 and 10 when it's Tesla birthday and uh, we usually organize this in Independence Mall in uh, front from Liberty Bell. I'm also Tesla Science Foundation organized a science conference but uh, this year going to be four days. We're going to bring scientists all over the country. Uh, where they're going to present their work and Tesla work. Um, also in the same day we have a uh, joint dinner and uh, we're gonna have uh, some kind of concert music. So they're gonna be a lot of fun for a lot of people and we call you to enjoy. This is gonna happen every year. Uh, that's uh, what is our mission. We wanna make this organization strong enough uh, and after us they still exist. America so. is still most attractive country for uh, new projects and uh, I think that's the reason why they're contacting us. They know we are based in United States. Main Tesla Center will be located in Philadelphia. Yeah. There will be no only labs, there will be big uh, exhibition center, not only for Tesla exhibition, there will be exhibition for innovation and science, what will bring a lot of different people in Philadelphia area. One of the really important thing where we need more people involved than just Art Institute is our Tesla traveling exhibition, what we're building. Uh, they will be divided in three different areas. Uh, Tesla past, present and future. Past area, we're working with Tesla Museum and Electrical Engineering University, Nikola Tesla in Belgrade, where they're gonna build uh, replicas of the different Tesla experiments. But future is something where we have to work uh, very closely to you. And how this world would really look if, uh, if Tesla accomplished all his inventions. And trying to get from city of Philadelphia a space uh, where we can make Tesla museum and lab for other people to do R&D. We have plenty of different scientists, plenty of different very creative people who are willing to work uh, on new projects. For something like this we will need better funds, good building and a very good structure of organization. Uh, so that's what we're working now on. So a lot of artists working with us on different uh, art program uh, projects uh, and they get very heavily involved so I think really we should have also art gallery there. The Tesla Science Foundation uh, is definitely most active Tesla group worldwide. All Tesla people in the same system. They will be divided in different projects and they will work with different projects. They not necessarily have to ever see each other but they will work together 
and they will, they will try to achieve the same, uh, same dream. So if you're one of them, contact us. Thank you.